we are loaded into the final game of the round four in this Alima League, spawning in the bottom, uh, yeah, left-hand side of the Wardo of Sleepers. It is Dream. And in the top right-hand side, spawning as the Blue Zerg, it is none other than Jenner Green Wings Rogue. All righty, so. Uh, yeah, last game, Dream actually beat Rogue with a very strong, like, uh, timing attack, so it was very surprising. I really like the opening, too. He opened it with Double Marine just to kind of uh, deny any overlords from scouting the front of his base, and I uh, really liked it for sure. This game, though, I wonder how it's going to go. It's going to be a little bit different to do uh, attack time timing, though, but uh, Winter's Gate was a very good map to do, very good map to do attack timings on. And I mean, Rogue, he didn't have any Bailing Nest, he didn't have a Roach Warren. He just had to defend that with Lings and Queens. And I mean, that's, that's just not going to work. Not at all. Dream, though. What is he going to go for this game? Is he going to go for that Marine opener once again? We'll see. However, there's a lot of places where the Overlords can retreat. So here, 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 here. So I mean, and here and here. So I mean... Even if he did have two Marines, um, which he's not going to right now, uh, he decides not to, to go for it, you know? He decides not to go for it, as uh, he probably won't get an Overlord. That's, that's the reality of it. Because, like, the distance between these two and these two is just too short to be able to do anything. Hmm. These links trying to go around here. Being sneaky, but look at that. They spot they spot the SCV, and that SCV at first wanted to block the third hatchery, but then I was like, nope, that's not going to work because there's Zerglings now. So he's just going to go around here, just going to spot that. It is a natural, I mean, not a natural, I mean a normal, like, uh, expansion timing. And then from there, he's going to send it home. What is this Reaper doing, though? I think he's looking for Lings? What is he doing? I'm not sure. There aren't any Lings, though. This is a normal expansion timing. <laughs> No, it's not, actually. It's totally not. Holy crap, what? No, it was. This was totally a very, very early pool by him. 100%. And uh, he already has those two queens on the way. He has two more on the way as well. Am I smelling a queen timing? I don't know, but he is building a bunker as well as a marine there before he actually goes into that reactor, which is the right move, in my opinion. Now he's going to be looking for that third base as well. Already sending the drone. And that Reaper doesn't know yet, but actually, wait, is he going to be able to get it? Oh, he gets it just in time. And that Reaper does not quite get the deny on that third base. And he sees, okay, this is all normal. He's going back in the droning. This is a massive, massive fake out. And, and you can tell, so many drones are on the way. He didn't even bother to make links at all. I think he may have made like two links, and that's it. So this bunker, kind of, uh, you know, too much, really. Let's see what he goes into here. He has another Marine on the way. And more Hellions as well. Where he's going to come out of the starboard? We'll see. No, he's not going to get that. Uh, he's not going to get that one. But he will try. He will try. Strong place for an Overlord as well. You can put a Nidus down here as well, which is really, really cool. And uh, does he actually spot the Overlord here? Not quite with the Marine. So uh, won't be able to get it. But uh, now these Hellions going across the map. He's going to want to try and apply a bit more pressure towards the thir this third base. But little does he know, there's a Roach Warren on the way. And two more gases. Now, this is getting quite serious. There's no lair, though. No lair on the way at all for Rogue. And look at this Rogue actually taking this base. I just realized, but this is the other third base. This is not the Rich Vespian base. So he's not going to go for a weird Ravager thing, but look at this. Oh, my God. A fusion core out of Dream. He's going to want to go into those battle cruisers once again and dropping the third CC at the same time as well. He's trying to keep as much pressure as he can with these Hellions here. But he doesn't really see anything too much. All he sees is he doesn't see many drones. That's the only tell he has. And 10 Roaches are indeed on the way for Rogue. And he's going to try and do a timing here before the Battlecruiser comes out. And it's going to be very strong. He spots everything that's at the front. He denies that Creep Tumor, which is quite good. It's going to slow down his push quite a little bit. But what is he going to do with these Queens? I think he's just going to keep them for the... Uh, the creep tumors, but now he's sending all of his roaches across the map. Three of them, though, 
uh, morphing into Ravager. So he's going to want to bust that front, even though there is a wall. He is trying to finish that wall right now, but that's going to die really, really fast, especially with the Roaches. He's actually sending the Elegs across the top side just to not even reveal that there's even more than just what he sees right now. To him, all he sees is like four Roaches. So he's not even bothering to make a second bunker, but hello, baby. There's way more lings on the way, and he has to close this wall really fast. Otherwise, he is in big trouble, and that wall is not closed. He finally sees the lings, and now he has to surround this bunker. He is getting a lot of SCVs at the same time, though. Look at that. Killing so many SCVs along the way. He kills that bunker. He only has Hellions, and that Battlecruiser is here now. But, I mean, that's already so much damage dealt. He's going to try and take out this Battlecruiser with the Biles. I'm not sure that's going to work. But, I mean, this is free pickings from here. He's going to get so much economic damage. And every roach that's low, he's just going to morph them into more Ravagers. From here, all he has to do is use Corrosive Biles onto the SCVs. And, uh, yeah, from there, I mean, oh my god, that Battle is already so low health. He has to keep target firing, keep getting more and more SCVs. He's trying to get a Battle Cruiser, but finally, he's going to get taken care of in a way. But he's re actually reinforcing with Lings right now. He's going to get even more SCVs with... Uh, with himself and uh, oh man that's more s if he's going that's 16 15 he's going down to like 14 and he's totally droning behind this too he's going up to 44 47 he's gonna go up to 50 and uh i mean dream is pretty much donezo here look at that that's three workers two workers where's the last two where are the last two workers show me they're right here hello workers will you survive the great apocalypse i don't think so he tries to get it done, but that's not going to be enough. And GG and Rogue wins with a strong attack timing.